Hey, ladies and gentlemen, how's everybody doing this morning? Welcome to Sunday, guys. It's Sunday. What time is it? I'm holding this camera, so I don't want to make you too shaky. Uh, it's 12.06, just afternoon time. And yesterday, what I did was, well, you see it. I was walking around Home Depot with uh with the wife and uh lo and behold this was on sale um this is a two-piece uh husky uh toolbox obviously as you can see and uh it fit the bill for me and it was just under two hundred dollars it was the whole thing uh was two hundred dollars and uh well i had to jump on it i needed room and i couldn't do no more what i was doing in that uh bedroom in that closet there but i still am utilizing those plastic uh totes i have most of my junk knives in there and just uh, stuff that doesn't really belong in this stuff here i got all my big you know my higher end pieces in there um I, you know i could show you that at another time um i got a couple other things on the docket as well i've been keeping well not so much a secret but um do you know how uh what's his name uh jimmy slash does blade sports uh with his knives his chopping um i am going to enter a competition uh axe it's all axe axe throwing but it's not only axe throwing you think it's just going to be axe throwing it's going to be a lot of axe cutting uh still uh chainsaws is putting it on uh a couple of towns over from me and i wanted to get involved in that anyway um and a few people were telling me about it and i said really i said i didn't hear about it and i drove all the way there talked to the guy he let me know what it was about this that and the other and uh so yeah in a couple of weeks that's going to be cupping up coming up so i may film that i may not <laughs> i don't know we'll see but i am going to do a filming i'm going to have my wife just filming me practice out back it's raining today uh we were going to do it today uh some filming on some cutting i was just going to cut some trees with my axe um just monkey around monkey around that's that's about it try to bring some new content to the channel um but yeah, so far, this is it. It's still not done. Uh, like I said, I just got this yesterday. I'm still in the process of putting stuff in here. Um, so that's that. And uh, we'll come up back over here. We'll put this in its little cradle here. Okay, just like that. Hold on. Bear with me, guys. I have a... Well, I don't want to give it away. I have Amazon just alerted me and said I have a package coming today. Uh, now, I've been waiting for it. Um, it hasn't arrived yet. Um, so, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe, maybe, I'll, maybe it'll come today. I hope it comes today. That's neat. Man, that is getting sharp. Um... But I picked this up. This was, um, uh, this was recommended by a lot of, uh, axe guys. And for an affordable hatchet, um, they, uh, were recommending this one. Now, I just started about an hour ago. I'm trying to sharpen. Uh, it comes with this coating on it i don't know why but you got to get all this coating off it because it's like a film and uh 
um, I'm just in the beginning processes, processes, yeah. I'm in the beginning process right now of getting, trying to put an edge on it. And um, we're getting there. Um, it's not so easy sharpening an axe. There's many ways you can do it. Uh, but I can tell you right now, I just started and it'll cut paper. I just started not too long ago. But this is just an ordinary uh, 20 ounce Dewalt uh, hatchet. Um, it's a nice hatchet. It's, um, you know, you could spend all kind of crazy money. I just wanted this one just for practicing. Uh, so when I go um, to this competition, I don't look like a total fool. Um, I do have some experience in, um, axe, uh, not axe throwing, um, just cutting, uh, trees and, and using an axe. I, I know my way around an axe pretty well. Um, it comes with this sheath, this, uh, plastic, um, little sheath here. It's pretty nice. Uh, hold on guys, I won't work around the camera here. It just basically, it slips right in. Sorry, I couldn't show you that. But it just slips in super, super easy. And uh, all said and done, you're looking at a $20 bill. So this was 20 bucks. But I will tell you, uh, not only this axe, all axes, when you get them, will require work. Don't think that you're just going to pull it out of the sheath and start hacking on a tree, a limb, a branch, or anything like that. They really do need to get sharpened because from factory, they only sharpen them to a certain degree. Um, and you really want to, you really want to refine it. You know what I mean? Uh, you can really make these things really, really good. So I'm still working on that right now. And what I'm using for that is I'm using a Lansky two-sided puck. I'm using a fine side and a uh, coarse side. Um, they're like five bucks, these uh, Lansky pucks. And if you're doing any kind of uh, sharpening your machetes, um, like I said, your axes, Lawnmower blades. Uh, what else could I think of? To anything that's like really big in in like if you have like a like a kukri, a kukri would work awesome on this. Anything that that it's long, curvy, um, these work dynamite. They are fantastic. It's a fantastic tool to have. I normally just squirt it with a little bit of DW40 and you're good. Don't use it dry. If anything, just run it underwater. If you don't have anything, run it underwater. Don't use it dry. I mean, you can, but you don't want to. You, you don't want to run it dry. Uh, but the best uh, thing to use is uh, WD40 on this. Just a couple squirts. And, and once you, I go in circular motions like this with the uh, blade, just like that. Find that angle, same thing. You find the angle, look underneath of it, find the angle, and just go in circular motions. Now, you could also put the puck down on the surface like that. And what you can do is, hold on guys, I don't want to knock my drink over there. You can do it on its surface like this. And you can go in circular motions like this. Find the angle like that. Right, lift it up. Find the angle. And then keep it on the surface. And just, you will be surprised on the edge that you get uh, with this piece. Let me take this back off because, okay. Um... Now, I've been working with this just for a little bit of time. I've been putzing with it. I haven't really gotten really into it that deep, but maybe an hour. 
but it is just taking, it's night and day from when I got it home. Uh, the edge was just, I mean, it was service. I mean, it was sharp. I mean, it came okay, but you don't want to cut anything with what they give you. You want to put your own uh, edge on here. You want to put your own edge on here. And uh, to finish it off, uh, well, you don't have to do it, finish it off. I like to uh, go across it. One time I put my fingers here. And I go across the whole edge with the bastard. This is a bastard file. Uh, you could get these bastard files anywhere, guys. They come in sets. Uh, and they really, really work well for axes and any other kind of thing like that. You know, your kookeries and like you could do angles like this. Um, like if you have an angle, um, I don't care how abrupt the angle is just hold your fingers on the tip here and just come swipe it just go swipe motions again have the angle have your uh angle right don't just set it there place it down tilt up or tilt down to where that angle is uh on the blade and just go swipe swipe across then you're going to do swipes across and you can get a very, very serviceable, um, sharp edge off of a bastard file. Off of a bastard file. I swear by these. They work. They work great. They work just as good as these pucks. Uh, pucks going to give you a little bit more control. Um, but you could get these in all kind of grits and all that other stuff and, you know, uh, but they just to have, uh, this is like the cheapest one. It's a Lansky, uh, but you could spend a lot of money for one, but you don't need to don't do that. Um, you know, you could use your, um, you could use your DMT, uh, stones, uh, to sharpen your axes as well. You, you know, you just, it's the same thing. Just get the angle. But, um, yeah, so this was recommended to me. Um, I got so many axes down there, guys. It's not even funny. But I wanted, I wanted to try this one because it was recommended to me. And I heard it was, I mean, I heard it's fantastic. I heard this thing, little bugger um, really, really does some fantastic chopping. Like I said, there you go. It's a 20-ounce uh, axe um, hatchet, and I really heard that it uh, it gets down and dirty. Um, now, I haven't used it yet. I'm still servicing it. Um, I got this the other day. Uh, yesterday. Yeah, I got because I got the toolbox yesterday. Um... But my friend recommended this to me, and a few other people recommended it, and they swear by this thing. It, they say it's a game changer. Uh, you know, I don't know. But for 20 bucks, I saw it there, and I was like, yeah, I'm going to try that out. And plus, I need to practice for this competition coming up, this uh, axe uh, event, uh, so to speak. I don't know. I'm going to take you guys out back of my house and show you some cotton that I do. I'll cut a tree, a uh, down tree, a tree to 30 down for the tree huggers. Is that what we call them, guys? The environmentalists, the people that don't like us cutting live trees down and all that. The tree will already be cut down, so. But, yeah, um, I am waiting on a knife uh, to come from Amazon. It was supposed to be here. They actually did tell me it was delayed. They said it would be here today. So, I mean, Amazon comes up till 8 o'clock at night. They've knocked on my door at 8 o'clock at night uh, plenty of times. So, I hope it don't come that late. Uh, I wanted to show you guys that. So, um, that's it. And, uh, oh, yeah, one last thing. Congratulations to Patty Potato Peelers. Patty, congratulations, buddy, on your 10,000 subs man 
That's ungodly. I'll tell you what, I, I, it took me years. It literally, it took me years to get to a thousand subs. And I don't ever think I'll make it. I don't ever think I'll ever even get to 2000. You know what I mean? But that's fantastic. 10,000 subscribers. That's a lot, man. That's, dude, that's impressive. You know what I mean? That's impressive. Neves Knives. Neves. Man, he just struck 100,000 subscribers. Can you imagine that? that? At that point, that's a full-time job. Right then and there, that's that's putting time in. I mean, it, 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 you got to put, you got to really work your nutsies off for that kind of, you know what I mean? But anyway, congratulations to Neves Knives. He struck 100,000. Uh, Scab, Choir's Cutlery, man, and Outdoors. He just struck 5,000, okay? He just hit the 5,000 mark. Scab did. So everybody's doing their thing. Everybody's doing well. I'm happy for everybody. And that's it, guys. That's my, uh, that's my video for right now. I was hoping that knife came from Amazon. I'd do that, but we'll do it later. Hope everyone's doing well. It's 1230 here on a Sunday afternoon. The sun finally peaked out. It was raining all after all morning. And that's it. I wanted to show you guys this knife. If you're interested, I'm telling you, if you're look if you even have any light duty work to do around the house, this axe is 20 bucks, guys. You could get it at Home Depot. Everybody has something to do around their yard. This is a good one to pick up. Put the edge on it though. Don't just buy it and take it out of the uh out of the sheath and just start whacking with it. You can, but I'm gonna put a real nice keen edge on this. And I'll show you again once I'm done this. Alright, guys. Be good, be well, be safe. Drop me a comment if you can. If not, thank you anyway. And uh looking forward to uh your comments. Take care, guys. Be well. Bye-bye now.